Fill her Lord with your anointing. For the journey is too strong. She needs your resurrection power. She needs you, my God, more than ever before. Fill her Lord with all the fullness of your spirit. All the gifts of the Spirit to manifest through. Revival, Lord, of every gift that you have given unto her to change the world for you. In Jesus' mighty name. She is blessed, Lord, in a home. She is blessed in a field. She is blessed in every way, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. May they help our seeds, praise him. May God keep blessing you. May God keep yes. you in his arms. May you find rest in his, his presence. May, we, may you enjoy his love. For you to live until this time is because she loves God. He loves you. Embrace his love that you may fly like an eagle. May he give you every desire of your heart to, glory, to, to the glory of his name. May you find refuge in him. In Jesus' precious name. We love you. And I love you. And before I'll be ended, I'll be praying for mothers. Before I sit down, I'll pray for mothers. And I'm appreciating the servants of God that are here. That are doing a great job. In Ramalepo, in Rasimenya. We appreciate you. We really appreciate you. It looks to be a minor job. But once you are inside, you'll know. It's not as easy as we think. Sometimes we just see like seeing somebody with a suit on a stage and think it is all about suits and whatever. But get inside. Yeah, it takes a lot. Can we ululate for mothers? Can we just ululate for them? And can we clap hands for them? <laughs> They are more beautiful than ever. It is very true. They are very, very beautiful. If anyone ever told you that you are not, is speaking from the pit of hell. God has beautified you. He has garnished you. He has closed you. He has adorned you. See, of heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We'll share the word of God. Because that is the solution to everything. As I'll be speaking the word to mothers it will be a word for every one of us Yeah, 
I really appreciate uh, Mr. Morupo and the family. Because sometimes you don't expect people after the funeral you see them here. But he said to me there was no way that I could miss this day. Traveling from you know the you know the distance. And I appreciate those that have gone there yesterday to support them. Yeah, Mr. Staple was just saying, hey, it's far. It's far. They travel single trip two hours. And look where they are here today. That is the commitment we are looking for. Keep it up. Really keep it up. You 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 really you are humbling us. You are showing us the way to home. You might be having reasons why you will not be here today. But you nullified all those reasons. Because there is a day that God has predestined for women, for mothers and you wanted to be part of that we are learning hallelujah amen you know i was so much blessed uh, sunday we pray for the mother to murutikiven magua and we got a report about three reports during the week. She was not able to talk. She was in a very, you know, condition that she really needed the hand of God. So they were not able to continue with other tests because they wanted her to be stable first. So the report says she is now awake. Everything is stable. They stopped the support machine. She is now on her own. And now they can continue in the test. They are all negative. The tests are negative. Yeah. You know, when we hear this, you say, it's good to have a church. A family that can pray. For instance, there are times when nothing that you know, it can do anything. You just need people who can pray. And we prayed. And we we'll still continue to pray. And on Thursday also we went to uh, Ramushai's family. Pope Cariso's family who was buried the cousin to Sister Tape Lomakwela. So we went there as a ministry that is called One of Us Ministry. That ministry that we go after the funeral and give a prayer because the purpose of that ministry is to say you can't lie down there the enemy cannot put you down there there is power to lift you up that is the purpose of that ministry and I was challenged to hear the report on Friday when after the prayer that we had with Pastor Sue, when we were when we were going back home the husband called me the husband the, the father to brother Kariso the Pope and the mother too 
and the father was say thank you you don't know what that death did to us you had not clue we were so much hurt so much but through your help today we are able to say we are rising up the mother said since the death of her son she was not able to eat since then she was only drinking water if you don't know what death does to people you take everything light brothers and sisters we need each other there are times when what you know doesn't mean anything you just need somebody who can stay it up so that you can well you know, well up in you. That it can bring that life so that you are able to stand. And she said, after we laid hands upon them, immediately she was hungry. There were never in church. Today they promised me that they will be in church, all of them this can only be God I'm telling you we get humbled when we, when we get all this report we get humbled everywhere we go the last family that we went to was Pastor Sharoma's family Bishop in nobody she's a bishop the husband also is a bishop and she said I never thought there are people who are concerned about people who have lost their loved ones I never even expected anything when people have buried they are gone forever she was very touched and people think pastors don't need this thing when you hear people sharing their testimonies there you'll be challenged one woman came to me after the, the service and she said to me Moruti from today I'm no longer afraid of death there is a law that the Lord is doing the Lord is doing so great let me share and continue where I stopped and it will be mothers take it for yourself you know I want to say this so that you understand. Any celebration that is not based on Christ as the foundation is celebrating in vain. It can either be, it can be wedding, it can be birthday, it can be whatever. The foundation should be Christ. It, it should be weight-based. It shall glorify God and it shall yield fruits. You know, many times when I'm uh, I'm going for preaching, he always said to me, like even 
during the week when we were preparing to go to uh, Ramusha's family, God said to me, don't ever try to please these people. They need a solution. You are not there forever. If you don't give them a solution, they may celebrate your preaching. They will still die. Don't try to please people with what doesn't have life. Any celebration based on nothing doesn't worth celebrating. Because it won't change the status quo. And by so saying, I want to I want to say to mothers, there is so much God is expecting from you, and you have to know it. And not knowing mentally but knowing it as a life because if it cannot be done God has been limited and disadvantaged and you know the, the death and the fall of the first Adam. I don't think is well exhausted to a point where mothers will be able to stand. Because if we don't know what is in the mind of God, it is difficult to live a rewarding life. A life that can change individuals have changed the nation. The death or the fall of the first Adam that was the greatest fall ever. And that will give us a reason for Jesus to, to come. And that will give us a reason to celebrate as women or as mothers. Because we know where we come from. And we know what we have to do by the Spirit of the Lord. I want to say this thing and it must be clear. God said to the first man that is the first Adam. You have got all the trees, all the fruits in the garden to eat. But he specified two trees in the middle of the garden. You know, my question and my question will be and I said, God help me by the power of imagination that your word may bring a thought and your original thought to understand this garden. Because it's like we are talking about just a garden. These are mysteries. And he said, there is a tree of the knowledge of good and evil. <laughs> a fruit. <laughs> and the evil in the game. Of the knowledge of good and, and evil. That was in the mind of God. Yeah? And there is another tree of life. A tree of life. And he said to this man, This one don't eat. 
Because the day you shall eat of it, you shall surely die. Clear. Specific. Don't eat. But all these other trees, together with the tree of life, you shall eat. And this was given to men. Because as we spoke yes, last Sunday, Bible that Bible. man has got the will. God never overrides. Because man is an entity. He never works through robots. He made man in his own image. God has got a will. The will of God. And this man chose not by deception because the word of God says he was not deceived the one that was deceived was a mother was a woman the mother of nations was the one deceived. but Adam ate out of knowledge Adam he was not deceived he made a choice. He partook. And everything changed. I want everybody to understand what everything changed. His mind, his will, his emotions were corrupted. His spirit went through death metamorphosis. The source of life was cut. God separated from men as his source. Men was now independent from God. Every atom of God's life was cut so the separation of God's life went so deep that his mind can never think about God his will never have a clue to take a decision based on God. His emotions were, went wild. That can never be restrained by God. And that separation went so deep to even the life of the blood. Went so deep to every cell of every body, but not of the body. Every part, every muscle, every bone was away from the, the life of God. So death now reigned in every area of man's life. 
That's how terrible the first man was. And the word of God says, this man is now fleshy. Fleshy meaning that this man can never do anything concerning God in any way, anyhow. He, this man was irreplaceable. There was no way that anything could do anything over this man because everything is saying we are dying, we are dying, we are dying because there is no life in any way, anyhow. Sickness is imminent. Because there is no life to Robani, I was a never pillow over there now. So man became a dead being. Yellow motto, Abba, the two possess a pillar. Water baptism can never do anything with a dead man. Lord, then Jija Karamitri also to Holy Communion can never ask. Solve anything because this man is dead to God. Even the preaching was not able to help this man. Because the man's point of contact has been nullified. So God can never connect to this man. It is like wood and electricity. It's not possible. That's how man state was. And the word of God says in Romans chapter 5. He says the first Adam was a prototype. He says the first man whoever shall be born from this man shall be born with this nature. It is a generational death. We pass it to our kids. When our kids are born of us, they are born dead spiritually. That's why Psalm 51 says, I was born dead. Because the first Adam, Adam he was reproduced. Anyone who shall be born of that first Adam is born dead. And the second Doesn't matter how nice you look like. Look at your love, Padime. It doesn't matter what I will be living with. I will be living with you. I will be living with you. Even though the child is born beautiful, fair, but the child is born. Mothers, can you see what we are bringing on this earth? We are bringing dead babies. What are we going to do? I must be to somebody. <laughs> we take dead bodies to school. We educate dead. dead. But as far as God is concerned, we have no life. If we don't know what we are bringing on this earth, you may think kids only need money to go to school. You don't know you are giving birth to people in the similitude of the first Adam. 
in the spirit they are born with that nature that they can like God they are born with that nature that they don't need anything about God. Taking, to, taking them to church is an effort. Because you are carrying dead people to church. Hello? Amen. As we feed them and clothe them if we don't do what I'm about to say, we are busy grooming our enemies. We are busy feeding our enemies that one day they will demand something with a knife or a gun. Because we are feeding And we mothers are the are the ones at the receiving point. Because the seed that made that child to be born dead comes from the father. Hello. Then fathers they give us a dead seed. Dead in the sense of there is no God's life. So even our young boys are carrying that. If we don't do what I'm about to say, we can be mothers and groom kids for the devil. Many are in prison today. Many are hijacking people. Many are even getting into churches and demanding cell phones and money from the church. Because somebody did not do the job. Praise the Lord. Great, great. What are doctors? Why, why do we have doctors? Doctors, they work on the physiology of the body. When they go and learn from school, they teach them about these body. How it functions. The lungs, the importance of the liver, the importance of the heart, how the blood is running over in this body. If there is a problem with this, it will cause that. That's doctors and nurses. nurses. They don't give life. They only know about the body. And they, they, pharmacists go all out to go and study all the trees that are there. What is in this tree? What is in this root? And they come up with medication. And say, if a person eat this, then this thing will bring help here. And the body will function well. They only end there. They can impart life. That's how far they can go. Psychologists and social workers say the, the problem might be your thinking. But the psychology, but the social worker, may we help you with your psyche? 
They take you back from where the problem started. They make a research of your family background. They say the problem might be this. If you are mad, it means this thing is in your blood. When, when, when you were born from your family, the, one of the benefits of the fall, your family benefited on this one. And it became your DNA in your family. Because the devil will manifest differently oh. to different people oh. by different DNAs. In other families, they may live short. It is what we got from the first, from the fall. In certain families, we are people of emotions. When we are angry, we burn everything. It is the manifestation of one of the of the benefits of the fall. In other families, there is just a lie. They can lie to an extent that it looks like the truth. It is one of the benefits of the fall. So the devil manifests differently to different or, or the DNA carries different ah. In other families there will not be any marriage. In other families there will not be any job. In other families there will be only killers. In other families, there will be only, mm, only, uh, you know, the cut one. In other families, it will only be rapist. That is all these things are the manifestation of the fall of men. You take them to rehabilitation. They'll try to condition the mind. They'll try to say if you think right. If you think positive. Then you'll change. And it will go for a minute. It will go for a week. And you'll feel like now I can change. But sooner or later you fall back. Because there is a nature inside of you of a fallen man. He must be to somebody. If we don't know this thing, we'll try to come with regulations. With rules to say this one can change. If this one can go through this intensive training. Remember Anyone born of a woman is born dead. The word of God says in John chapter 3, it says, flesh only give birth to flesh. A fleshy person gives birth to a fleshy person, a, a fleshy child. There is no any amount of training that can change men's life. And Jesus came. I want to come to this one because I want to finish. Let's read John chapter 3 verse 16. I want to come to this so that mothers can get it. We, we have so, we have got mothers, I'll mention few. John chapter 3, put it on the screen quick. Arabalin John chapter 3. Hey, but I want to see, I want to see. Tatua Swan, I was on a seal. Let's go there. Let's read it. John chapter 3, verse 16. It says, For God so loved the world. He loved the world. I was on this, this message from Peter Dino. He loved the world. God loved the world. Romans chapter 5, it says, He loved the world of sinners. He loved the world of the flesh. He loved men in that state. He loved men in that condition. Because you will not expect men to love him from that angle. 
If he demanded men to love him, it was just as good as demanding a man to live in the water. The man is not capacitated to live there. So it was not possible for men to love God. Because man is dead to God. Mm. That's why he had to love us. Before we could even love ourselves, because there was no love within ourselves. If I rape somebody, I don't love myself. If I kill my mother or my father, I don't love myself. I can't kill somebody who brought me up. I can't just kill somebody who got love so much. It tells how much I hated myself. People who made it said they say people who are killing others. They made it said that people who are but killing others are the people who hated themselves. They don't love themselves. Because loving yourself is loving somebody else. Hallelujah. Amen. I don't think there is anyone who loved himself so much that he can enter in a man in another man's house at night while they're sleeping. It tells. It tells. The extreme. The intensity. The death of the fall of men in another man. How can men take drugs? What is he trying to do? He's trying to get a solution. He wants to be high. Because he thinks he's slow. He thinks things are not working for him or me. And this person is trying other ways. I've been normal. But things are not fine. Let me get out of myself. Because I'm trapped in this man. Who does the thing that he doesn't want to do? Hello? Yes. Mm. Can you see what the first Adam did? Until God says, the solution to this fallen man is the death is the of my son. My son. Not church membership, but the death of my son. First Peter chapter three. Let's read that one. Ariengo Peter Romatomo. First Peter chapter three. I want to read this verse. Arvaling te maneng mishi. From verse three. Read it quickly. Whether in spade you in whatever. Let not yours be the merely external adorning, with il elaborate. You know from verse what? Ki First Peter chapter three verse one. Ariel. All right, yes, continue. Okay. The sky is amplified. Okay. Can you be a bit direct? Do not let your adornment be merely outward. Okay. Arranging the hair, wearing gold. Ah, it's not, it's not verse one. Oh, verse one. Never. Wives likewise, be submissive <laughs> to your own husbands. Wives is talking about a mother to somebody. Yes, continue. Where is wives? We can put it mother. That even if some do not obey the way, yes, they without a word may be won by the conduct of their mothers. A mother who is married, then he, that mother has got a job. Mm. And a mother who is not married then will be continued. But a mother, there being a wife, has got a job to make sure that the unsaved husband or an unsaved father is getting the ministry of the ministry of Jesus Christ. Mm. Continue with, with a manifested life, daily manifested life in the house. Mm. Not preaching. Mm. Read it quickly there. When they observe your chest. When conduct. they observe, meaning that husbands are given a job to observe. Mm. 
Because God knows he has planted a mother in that house. Hello? Mm -hmm. Accompanied by fear. Uh -huh. Do not let your adornment be merely outward. Okay. Mothers, there is a ministry. A ministry. To change our husbands. And if we were to change our husband, or oh, maybe let's put it this way. Mothers, we are given a ministry to change the world. Because the world is observing. Mothers, the world is observing. They are keys in the house. They don't need a preaching per se they are observing a preacher and a preacher have to live this life to an extent of being Christ like remember they are born dead they want to see this love they want to see this life. Because teachers don't have it. Lecturers don't have it. Community members don't have it. But the mother in the house has it. Continue. Verse 3. Yes. Do not let your adornment be merely outward. Arranging the hair. Mothers, don't let your adornment be only on the outside. It's giving us a secret. here. As much as mothers, we are concerned of our outward look. God is giving us what he really wants. That should Co correlate with the outward appearance. And outward appearance without the inner change has no value before God and amongst our family members. I want to repeat myself. The outward appearance with no inner metamorphosis has no effect over our family members and community amongst ourselves. The outward appearance on its own has got no eternal value. It cannot change that innocent baby. Cannot change that innocent child. Cannot change that innocent husband, maybe. Cannot change a man that is walking around. Because it has no eternal value. Continue read there. It says verse four. Yes. Rather, let rather, it, rather, let it, let it be the hidden person of the heart. Let, let it be what the, the hidden, hidden person of the heart. Yeah, yeah. Let it be the hidden person of the heart with the incorruptible beauty. With the incorruptible beauty. Beauty. Of a gentle and, of a quiet, gentle and, a, quiet and of a quiet spirit, which is precious, before which God. is precious in the sight of God. Mothers, I hope this this is more than more than one can say. For us to change these kids, that we spend so much time with them. This is a ministry. We have got so much time with these kids. Telling them about how bad Rahadi is. 
Telling them how bad maybe the husband is. Alright. Because if we had the best lecturers, we will have the best kids. What is it that we talk to? We talk about when we are with them. What is it that we do when we are with them? That will duplicate ourselves. What is it that we say? I'll come back to it. Read Second Peter chapter one, Are verse five. Go Second Peter chapter one, verse five. I'll come back to I'll come back to that one. There, there are a few things that I want to say before I but, to it. Second Peter chapter one, verse five. Yes. But also for this very reason, yes, giving all diligence, uh huh, add to your faith virtue. Is it second? I got a second Timothy. Oh, second Timothy. Yeah, second Timothy chapter one verse five. Sorry, not Peter. Second Timothy chapter one verse five. Yes, I want to. When I call to remembrance. Yes, when I call to remember, is Paul speaking? The genuine faith that is in you. The genuine faith that is in Timothy, mm -hmm. which dwelt first in your grandmother Lois. That dwelt first in your grandmom Lois, and your mother Eunice. And your mother. Eunice. And I am persuaded. And I'm persuaded that is in you also. That is in you also. Can you see generational blessing? Mm -hmm. The grandmom taught her first daughter, mm -hmm. Eunice. Mm -hmm. And Eunice took it to Timothy. Eunice, I wrote that Paul mother. is even persuaded. Timothy. To say the very same faith your grandmom and your mom had. I see it in you. This, this woman, Mosadu, Lois, Lois, and Eunice, they did a great job. What is it that we are doing? What are we doing with our kids? Listen to how they talk. They talk the lecture that they received. And they are taking it to others. When they are playing there in the street, they all reflect their lecture that they received. Not knowing that these kids are born dead. And they need life. And this life is not found in the custard. It's not found in the best education. It's only found in the death of the Lord Jesus Christ. If the mother doesn't have it, or the mother doesn't cherish it, it cannot be passed to another generation. And that's where we are. When we take them to, to the shops, what is it that we are talking to? Timothy today is a pastor. He might be, he might call it, or it might be being stirred from the teachings he received from the mother. There is a lot here. In 1 Peter chapter 3, where we read, I, I'll, I'll paraphrase it. He says, learn from your mother your mothers learn from your mother in the name of Sarah says anyone who is born, born again your mother is Sarah the wife to Abraham he says he lived and believed in God to a point of receiving a child 
Amorelangwana in the old age. In church of age. This should be a heritage. Passing it to our kids. That is never too late. With the God who died. This family. We might have coming from an angle of witchcraft. But we are saved. Don't be frightened. When they say your Hadi is bewitching, you have power. This is the lecture that we can give it to our kids. This is the television they can see it live. Bring Christ alive in the family to a point where kids will be like Timothy. To a point where kids will be like Isaac. Even when there was famine. But Isaac knew the God of his father Abraham. That even in the age of 100. Kids can still be born. It doesn't matter how dry it is. You have got a fertile God. This thing must come from the family. As much as we are busy doing homeworks for them. There is another homework we don't do. Because teachers can't give it. Because they don't know it. There is a, a lecturer in the house. There is a teacher in the house. Must give children a classwork. Because this is life. That will back up that academic life. And he says, Bar, Sarah humbled herself Sarah to her husband because she had a gentle, a quiet, imperishable beauty, even called Abraham, my Lord. Submission. That is what the Lord has given to women to change the world by submission. Because their kids will submit to them. We can learn about Dorothy. We can learn about Deborah. That will not change our lives. It's going to change. When our minds have been renewed. Then we rise up. Sunday last week we spoke. A mother to change must change in the mind first. Transformation begins there. Brothers and sisters, we have been taught or we have been stirred up with no foundation. We have received so steady messages that are not changing anything. Our families are still the same. Our kids are still the same. But there is power within us. There is a lack of growth in us. It means our mothers, our focus must be right. There is one woman who always says from this church. She always said, I don't give birth kids to the devil. I don't give birth to my kids. After I gave birth to them, if, if I don't give them something, then I gave birth my children for the devil. But 
they will go outside stealing bags even the rapists and their their children to someone's mother they were to rob banks their children to a certain mother what did we do redirling if we don't change if we don't transform or be transformed by the word of God we can't change our kids we can't change our kids they will live with the ones who take these things and sometimes we must also train our kids in a way that they will receive life because they were born without when life. we leave our kids in the house when we go to church we don't know what we are trying to do we are doing a damage that can never be corrected by, by any education there is no any best education in the world that is able to change anyone that's why even lecturers they rob others marks they buy even even people who are in authority they sell they are you know they they steal they do whatever because man is dead in the first Adam and needs the death of Jesus Christ without the death of Jesus no man can be saved what are we doing in our homes? What are we doing in our homes? What prayer are we doing in our homes? What are we doing in our homes? What are we in our homes? What are we doing in our homes? What are we What prayers are we teaching our kids? Because that will prepare them to receive Christ when he is preached. Because that is the only solution that we have. May we go and change. Because our change will change. The circumstances. What faith are we saying in the house? Do you know what faith is? Believe in what God said. Can our kids know how to believe? Can kids remain and stay? in the word of God and say as God said it it will come to pass if they cannot do that it means we are raising victims we are, we are raising people who will be taken for granted and we are sending them into the world of wolves we are sending them in the world of serpents and they are without armor they are not equipped enough to stand in the midst of all temptations when they get into the universities they think this is life to stay in a boyfriend in a room they think this is life because somebody did not do the job hmm. we have got the responsibility that we have to pray for to in our celebration we have to know there is a responsibility God is expecting so much in us are we raising fighters are we raising future wives maybe we are struggling as wives today because nobody taught us how to live a godly life there is a virtuous woman that has been mentioned this morning and listen what that virtuous woman said she was living from inside she was living from inside and the word of God says who can find such a woman because others that are found they've been raised the wrong way they know a man being a bad man yet they are married to a man they, they are skeptics of everything they know mothers or fathers in laws are not good they've been brought with that knowledge how can 
Everyone who's married is crying. Everyone is always crying. There is, a, there is a virtuous cycle that must be broken. And all is within our hidden men of the heart. I want us to pray for these women. Church, we need to pray for them to, to see God more than anything. For our kids to see us pray. For our kids seeing us hungry for the weight. For our kids knowing how to meditate. For our kids seeing us confessing the weight. Even when there is no money, they want money. We come together and say in the name of Jesus. They see us do it. And they say this is life. This is life. When a man approaches this young girl. And say I want to sleep with you. He says no, this one. This body is, is the temple of the Holy Ghost. This body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. This child, you know, reached a stage where cannot sell her body. Because this girl will be knowing Jehovah Jireh, the Lord my provider. If I don't have it, God will provide it. You boyfriend, you are not my God. I rather sleep without eating than eating money from a boyfriend. I can't spoil the presence of God in my life. These are the keys that we must raise. These are the keys that we must rise. These are the keys that we must send into the world. These are the keys that we must send into the university. These are the keys we must send to the colleges. These are the keys we must send into the, 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 the working environment. When they are in the office, they know the secret of the office. When they are with their boss, they know this is my boss this is not my boyfriend this is my boss. boss mothers mothers let's close our eyes mighty father we are here to pray for you mighty father it is upon a willing heart of a mother a future mother a future husband and a husband to know your will because your will is clear that we should let everybody to know about you your will is for everyone to receive the life of Christ because this is the life that will change everything there is power in the name of Jesus there is victory in the name of Jesus. There is healing in the name of Jesus. There is a blessing in the name of Jesus. This morning, Lord, as a remembrance of the responsibilities our mothers have is to educate as Proverbs chapter 1 and verse from verse 1. That says, kids take instruction from a mother. Meaning that a mother must have instruction from the Lord. Mighty Father, we are crying in agreement here, Lord. That we have got families that we need to change as mothers. We have got a community to change. We have got a nation to change. In a main slave lay language they say teach a mother you'll teach a nation mighty father let it be so with mothers that are here in this house i pray for each and every one of them it doesn't matter whether they are single or they are married the husband is one is jesus christ for you said you are the husband of everyone you are the provider of everyone May we have humble you, we mothers that are I've got humility before your weight. For you said Lord, whoever shall humble herself under your mighty hand shall be lifted up. 
We want prophetess, Lord, that can prophesy to these nations. Because there's a nation in the house. Babies are a nation. One is carrying a thousand. Mighty Father, changing one child is changing a thousand. Let's not play, Lord, with the gift that you have given to us as Psalm 127 says, kids are a reward from you. They are a reward and inheritance from above. You said, blessed are those that his quiver are filled with this. They shall never be afraid of enemies. We are praying for mothers here. For the unction of motherhood may take over their lives. That the anointing of motherhood may take over. That Lord, they may know that they are a sample, an example in this world. That they may know that they've got a, you know, a life teaching ministry. I pray that your righteousness may take over. That Lord, your holiness. That Lord, your sanctification. Lord, the love of God may be set up within them. That they may turn little dead babies into Christian giants that can take the government of this world. I pray that Lord they may take it with all humility and humbleness. Lord I pray for these women and mothers Father to get the desires of their hearts. I know Lord they are going through some certain challenges. It might be, Father, for the in-laws or whatever, but you have given them this thing within them that can never be diminished by any opposition. You said, Lord, enemies shall come in one direction, but they shall flee in seven ways. Mighty Father, you said they are more than conquerors through Christ who strengthened them. Mighty Father, they are winners in every circumstances. They can never be taken for granted by whoever. They've got the value before you, Lord. You have anointed them for this reason that they can destroy the power of the enemy that they can walk over serpents and scorpions and over the power of the enemy all challenges that are my God associated with mothers they shall overcome in the name of Jesus it doesn't matter Lord how many kids are there without a, a biological father but Lord you are the father of those kids you shall provide take them to school mighty father pray that Lord there may be food in the house of these mothers that Lord there may be jobs of these mothers Lord that Lord you may raise them to a level oh God that they may be respected by the world mighty father let the power the light of the of God shine upon them Lord let them arise for the glory of the Lord is rising upon them Lord Makaya Shata Nibrahaya Shala their body are not sold for money. Their body shall never be sold for food. Their body shall never, Lord, be sold for anything. Mighty Father, you are Father of the fatherless. What's about my God? Something don't even have anything to eat this morning or this afternoon. But Lord Jehovah Jireh, the Lord Mary, my provider. Mighty Father, help that family that needs you desperately, O oh Lord. Shikalabaya Saka. Maria Koroboya Shatalabaya. Maya Karabaya Sikoroboya Laba. They can never depend on another man. They can never depend on another man, O oh Lord. They shall depend upon you, Lord. And they shall be renewed, O oh Lord. The strength shall be renewed. The hope shall be renewed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mighty Father, we are praying for hope. They shall occupy big positions. And they shall not be taken for granted. Oh, Yashaya. Masi kalabraha yashalabaya. Maria kalabaya satalabaya. Hialabaya shalabaya. Mighty Father, we are praying the ancient of the virtuous woman of Proverbs chapter 31, O Lord. Upon each and every one of them, Lord. That they may walk in power and in glory. That they may walk in power and in glory. 
Mighty Father, let their faith, my pure God, be strengthened inside of them, Lord. We want to see families rising. We want to see men coming to the Lord through their lives, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Mighty Father, we want to see the ministry of reconciliation and the message of reconciliation by the life of mothers, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. Mothers, may we speak together. Mothers, may we speak together. Mothers, may Kichia mbere kuhu. Kapelu ya kakamuka. Kakupolo ya kakamuka. Mujimu utainkela wena. Kalibisu la mwana chesu. Au katele uri kibokai. Kipalesu kakaka. But mamu takichia beiten. Kere mujimu ntsepe kia tapala. Lushi tuengaka mujimu ntuse. Kikwa na udire la lefase le pulu weka baka la hao. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray it. Amen and amen and amen. You are a mother of a substance. You are not just a woman. You are just a mother of value. You are a mother of virtue. You are a mother of substance. Never doubt yourself. Even the clothes you are wearing don't ever, don't ever allow yourself to buy clothes Don't ever allow yourself to get money from a stolen man. Lead and protect you and save your life. God will look after you. But God is with you. are carrying the whole family. But God is with you. God will take your children and and they will be the the and people will see you the CEO you don't know in your home the president you don't know raise that president. child to the Lord raise that child in the ways of the Lord be the salt of that child one day he will drive you one day that child will drive you that child is going to buy a car and take you somewhere RDP, you might be staying in a RDP you house. One day, you will be in Santen. Your child will take you to Santen. Your child will take you far. Your child will fly you. Your child will, child will, fly you. Your child will bring millions and billions in your home. Take care of the child. Take the child to the Lord. That child will shock the world. That child will be proud of those kids. In Jesus' mighty name. Taking drugs today. But we are saying they are not born for drugs. We are saying no. We are coming out of drugs in the name of Jesus. We are not born to be what the devil is trying to do. In Jesus' mighty name. Say my family is blessed. 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 My kids are blessed. In the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. amen. Hallelujah. We can sing a song as the MCs continue. Sing it. Sing it from the top. Let it be a song from the heart. Let 
Hallelujah. They are really a blessing to us and a blessing to this generation. Hallelujah. So, a mother has a mandate. A mother has a mandate in which they should be a minister upon the house. Hallelujah. So, a mother's heart is seen upon the children. Hallelujah. So, without any waste of time, offering. Hallelujah. Thank you. after offering, after offering by along with Pastor Sue, but grand match. Hallelujah. Happy Mother's Day. Happy. again. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. chapter Lonare <laughs> Le kabelo ya gagwe. Ka ine a be felwa kudu me a senya sefatlhego. Haleluya. Re bolela ka ofaring a ke. Mo re ba dileng gona. Re kwa ka mo modimo a ileng a gahlwa ke monielo wa a bele ka gona. Home a khatsega mo ilo re re a tsa re khatlo mo khatlo ya modimo isa male tshogofatjo haleluya and then ka ine yena ire modimo a sanka a khatlo ke 
nielo ya gagwe go ba kabelo ya gagwe go miena iri ana ba bifelwa so bifelo ya ka ine e tlishwa ke gore modimo a gagwe ke kabelo ya gagwe go ba monielo wa gagwe mo ile ngo re botse botse ta ba golo mo gore modimo o lebeletseng pelo ye nielang hallelujah so pelo ya o niela ka botse go ba ka le thabo ya abel ya o niela ke e le ngo re le yana di amogahla ke e le gore ngi e direke gore ka ine a bifela ga ta ga ke niela nna ka re ke re ke niela mal mawong ga re ke nya ka o niela la marantwa go ne ya ba hore ke nna ke sa erating le go molimo e ka se khatlise hallelujah ka ine o be a sa niele modimo ke yena di mogahla go ra re yena ka ine di be di sa mogahla ya ba nga di fa modimo so modimo ana pa a se khatlwe ke niwe ya ga even do ba niela go ba re o be a no niela in vain hallelujah go ra re bo a no lahla because a se di be di khatla modimo so a be le yena a niela modimo ke le ngo re ngi di be di mogahla go tloga go yena pele go ya go modimo go me modimo a khatlela ya le bona re go diragalang ge wo mongwe a dira ke di botse and then o mongwe a sa dire ke di botse wola wa o dira ke di botse ka re o khatla modimo wola wa se dire ke di botse o baleng o bale le hufa hallelujah ene le hufa ya le a le go modimo le go wola wa o dira ke di botse a go tlela modimo o go tlela ngwana o hallelujah so o ra re go no tsale ka mo kreke ge re niela re sa niele ka mo gwele gore nge ke tja go khatla modimo ba ba dirang ka tja go loka ge ba tswelela ba e fa di testimony re na re ta ba re sa di tse di botse re tsana ke mona gore o ka re modimo ba e bile a re modimo re re ba rata ke baruti o ene o tse ba re it has nothing to do with baruti ke modimo go re leng ka le ka gore ke a ikhutisha go ba ke re ke le ka go tlaka smile go wa apostle se se lang go re a se bona modimo wa ka hallelujah modimo ke ana a tlo sho go fa tsa praise the lord so pelo tsa rena ka mehla it doesn't matter how much you have se se lang go re the attitude of the heart ke modimo a e lebeletseng ka ba ka re modimo o tlo go fa tsa go ya ka pelo ya gao o tlile ka pelo ya mohuta ma o nya ka go khatla batho ba o nya ka go khatla modimo na hallelujah So the minute e ba tsaba gore o tla e le gore ke nya ka re ba mpone ma mo tlhore ke nyetse o tsaba gore o shetse o era batho a ke re a re tsoro o bolela ka batho ntlo di le ba ruti o ba bo ma ma re se se tshelang gore ga o do thoma gore ke nya ka re ba mpone na pile di senyegile ka moka ma ra o o ka thoma wa re modimo shetse ke a di tlisha o tsaba pelo ya ka modimo o tlo o tsho fatsa out of your heart because o tabao ke sheka pelo ye le go reng e lokologile e tlhwekile ka le thabo haleluya o tswelela e le gore wena o e phelele ditse go tswa ka gare ga botembe ga that is why jesus christ i le are one day go nielwa mosadi o mo aisha two pop i mean the last pen ana pa a bolela gore ke ena ntshitse go ba feta ka mo because o tsere ya mafelo a be ana le yo Hallelujah. So pelo ya gao. Ke ona ye dira gore modimo a khona go bona gore okay wo o dira tsa go loka. Therefore di tsho fa jo di tswana mo. Hallelujah. So go ra reng pelo tsa rena di swantse gore di loke. Gore ga re tla pelo ga modimo ka baka la gore ga lebelle the outside o lebelle the heart. Ke mo le gore di lo tsa rena di tlo sepela botse. Praise the Lord. Ar ba leng ga pe Deuteronomy 16:17 Lo neba la gatsela e E re yo mongwe le yo mongwe a tlishe mpho ka mo a khona go ka gona go ya ka mo morena modimo wa lena a mo shogofaditse go ka gona 
Hallelujah. So orare mal mangu sonjore atliche go ya ka mogho modimo wa mosho go fa ditseng ka gona. E sa tsa maishana le taba ya pelo. Modimo ga lo jo go fa tsa ka mogho le gore go sofa tse ka gona. A ba go botsa gore o sonjore o direnye mara wana wa ghetha o dira ya gago. Hallelujah. So ke taba gore nyi ba re boditse mo gore modimo a a a a a ghetele ghetho ya rena. Rena ke rena re filen de wheel. Gore go lo dira ka mogho le gore nyi so if you lore re na ari ri thato ya ga ke mo lo re re fetoga ba tswa sthabela then gape gape re ba la proverbs 39 diema chapter 3 verse 9 o tlompe morena ka o mo fa kabelo ya tshe o na go natjo le ya tshotlhe tshe ka o ne ka o ne tshe o di bona go tshimo ya gago ke mo di tshe go tsa ga go di tla go tlala mabele go mme le mapitlelo a ga go a di terebe a tlala a tlala a fala la beine haleluya so modimo ga posa re go potswa reng re fane ka tshe di botse tshe rena re na le tsona re se ka tsona le ka ine wa go fana ka tsa go hota tsa go lwala tsa di fofu tshe le ngo re nge botse botse be le thoga go pela ga modimo so re santo re tla pela ga modimo re tswe re tshe di botse tshe le rena di re khahlang haleluya or we must give the best then the last one the same book of proverbs Chapter 11 Dia ma khalo ale sumete te mama sume pedi nne e re go na le bo mafakuru ba go no atelwa ke le ruo le dingame tsa go atelwa ke bodidi Hallelujah so the more we fa the more the wena the more o ke tsoreje tsona ke the more thoma go tlhotsa di lwala di ikwa one by one na pile tshe dingwe di folotsa wa no shalaka tshe pedi hallelujah le tswana tsa thoma go lwala mara wala afana nka tswana di tswala ma triplets di tswala ma twins di a ta le go feta the more afana ka tswana the more a ramela afana ka maso ya tswana ke the more di tswala le go feta then le hufala tso ga gore na nka ne ri fulisha blanket mara tsa ga di sakwe ba ba ka la gore yena ena e le mang mafakuru wa go atelwa ili ruwo haleluya bala santo re tsebe gore ge re ba bo mafakuru modimo o khona gore ya tshetsa ka baka la gore nge o bona re khona go tshepagala le ntlo modimo le bontsha gore ge re tshepagala ka tshe di nyane modimo o khona gore tshepa o khona gore tshepa ka tshe di kholo bona re ge re thoma go fa kuru modimo o khona o tlisha mmo ka gore o bona gore rena ke rena ba go fa Haleluya. Are meleng rapele menyalo are na re tla re fe morena. Muri mu papa ka le bitso le le matla Kriste Jesu. Re go fa di poko le di theto re a phagamisha. Rapela se a tla se sengwe le se sengwe se tla go fa mo. Papa lo ke le ngwena mo di mo di pelo. Go mme ko ena mo di mo di tshogofatsa. Male mang go tseba pelo ya gagwe ka ra tlo. Go shia le tsa go re thushe. Re khone go fa ka tsela ya wena modimo. E le gore e tla ba e le ya go go khahla. Re thushe. Re kwa le ntjula ga go mmere le phethagatse. Go bane ke mo tsho go fa tlo ya rena e tsa mmona. Ka le bitsole le matla Kriste Jesu. O modimo wa dipelo 
gomme wa re tseba e bile wa re tsebela go ba le mo go wena ga gona se se khutileng jo tlhe ka mo ka pele ga go di tlhogoletse re thusha papa ya lokile ka mehla e be rena ba phethaga tsa le ntula ga go ka le bitso le le matla kriste jesu ma le mang o shetse a tshogo fetse go ya ka mo gopelo ya hae mo rena o e bonang o e tsebana ka le bitso le le matla kriste jesu a nna sanete amen Ani nyani u umpa kinsa nyani kinsa nyani ki kinsa ani nyani.